claim screening versus payment screening. It's important to understand the differences between name screening and payment screening. In this lesson, you will learn more about these terms and get to understand differences and similarities. Name screening may also include batch screening, which allows a firm to screen its entire customer base and other entities, such as vendors, using automatic screening tools on a periodic basis. When onboarding new customers, sanctioned screening is undertaken prior to accepting a new customer relationship and is done in real time. Name screening forms a part of entry controls, which gives the financial institution more opportunities to collect sanctions due diligence information. It is generally more feasible to stop a customer's onboarding when list screening flags a possible connection between a customer and a sanctions list. Payment screening focuses on screening payment messages. Unlike name screening, payment screening takes place with current customers and is performed before payment or message is processed. Payment screening relies on payment messages using predefined templates, codes, and acronyms to describe certain information. The information provided in these predefined templates is typically provided by a third party. Therefore, the firm has little, if any, control over how the data is presented. Organizations and, in particular, financial institutions, are required to freeze or block assets of sanctions targets and are prohibited from dealing in the funds of a sanctions target. When an institution relies on batch screening for payments, screening is taking place ex post after the transaction has been processed. This method fails to ensure that the institution stops payments to a sanctions target. Therefore, from an operational and regulatory expectation, payment screening must take place in real time or ex ante before payments are processed. This is due to the immediate liability aspect of sanctions. In payment screening, because firms receive information from outside parties, the quality may be beyond a firm's control. For this reason, it is important to apply human intelligence and judgment to the screening process and to work on, as necessary, the ongoing recalibration of software, data cleaning, and remediation to sustain an effective screening operation.